Hey friend, Femke here. In this video, I want to walk through a tool we've talked about before on this channel, and that is Taskade. A little while ago, I made a video that was kind of introing this tool and going through all of the basics on how to get started. In this video though, I want to level up and talk about the power features and how you and your design team can use Taskade to collaborate and work together better. We're going to touch on all of the features that are going to help you level up, including the Chrome extension, the mobile app, templates, workspace, subspaces, keyboard shortcuts, all of it. Taskade is going to help you become a more efficient collaborator with your team and help you feel more productive. Let's jump on into the tool again. Let's start by looking at how to best structure your Taskade space. So Taskade has this concept of workspaces. Within each workspace, you can then have a subspace and then within each subspace, you can have a project. So you can kind of think of the workspace as the company level and then the subspaces as individual teams. And then of course, within those teams, you can have individual projects. By default, workspaces are private. So it's up to whoever the admin is to invite different team members into the workspace. And now the subspaces that you see will be unique to you. So depending on the different subspaces that you're invited into, you will see a different structure. Each subspace is independent of each other within a workspace and it's up to the workspace admin to create the different subspaces and invite the relevant team members into that subspace. Subspaces are kind of like a Slack channel. They're private by default and only those invited into the subspace can actually see the projects and contents within that subspace. So if we look at how I've structured my task aid, here I have a workspace for my own side projects, Femke.design. And within this, I have a few projects, but over on the workspace panel, you can see I have two subspaces. I have one for a design project, then another one for YouTube. If I click into YouTube, you'll see within this subspace, I have four different projects. I can click in to each of these projects and see all of the contents relevant to that particular project. Now let's take a look at templates. And what's really cool about Taskade is that you can create your own saved template for other people within your subspace subspace to use. So let's click on over to this design project subspace. Now it's currently empty, but if I click on over to templates, you can see that I've created a design process template here. Now this template is available at the subspace level for this design project subspace, but you can create a template at the workspace level as well. And then it would be available for your whole company. I would recommend that if you have your design team at the subspace level to have all of your design related templates just at that subspace level, because if it's at the workspace level, other people within the company that are not in design would have access to it. And maybe it's just a bit cleaner and tidier to keep it only accessible to the design team. Hence, I recommend putting it at the design team subspace level. Okay, so I've created this template and the reason I created this as a template is so that it can be reused for each project. Let's take a look at this template I created. This template follows the generic double diamond design process. So it starts with some tasks here for product definition, followed by research, design exploration, refinement, and then finally ending on handoff and QA. And the idea of this template is that every time you're starting a new design project, you can just make a copy of this template and get started straight away. So let's head on back to projects and and pretend that we're about to start a new design project. To kick that off, let's click on new. And then instead of starting on a blank project, let's use the design process template. So I'm going to click on this and it's going to make a copy of this. Let's call this the name of our project. I'm going to make one up for now choose a nice emoji. And now here we have our template assigned to our project ready to go. I quite like having this list view, but if you prefer a different view, Taskade has a lot of different views. So up the top right under list, I could change this to maybe a board view, which is now going to split this out into more of a Trello style board. I could instead change it to an action view, which is a bit more action oriented. There's also mind map view. And then lastly, org chart view, if that made sense. It's kind of like origami depending on your preference and how you like to visualize your workflow and work your way through tasks, it's up to you to choose the view that works best for you. Now, as I cycle through these different views here, this is only applying that view for me. So if a team member came into this project, they would see their own view of their choice. However, I can set a default. So if I wanted, for example, the list view to be the default view for all of my team members, then here in the dropdown, I can just click on the star here to make this the default view. And now all all of my team members coming into this project will see it as a list view. As I've been getting more and more familiar with using Taskade, I've really been enjoying the keyboard shortcuts. It just makes my workflow a lot faster. And if you want
want to view the keyboard shortcuts, you can just click on your avatar on the top right. And then there's an option here to view all of the keyboard shortcuts to get familiar with. A few keyboard shortcuts that I really like. One is that you can select multiple tasks and then press command enter to mark them all as complete. You can also press command enter again to undo that. So just by flicking between command enter, depending on what you've selected, it will just mark all of those selections as completed or uncompleted. You can also use command shift up and down arrow to move your selection up and down throughout the list. And this can be really nice if you want to quickly reorganize something. The last keyboard shortcut I really like is being able to fold and unfold your selection. So for example, design refinement, let's say I wanted to fold this section up, I can just do command up arrow and that will completely fold or collapse, hide that entire section section and I can unravel it as well. And this doesn't just have to be at the top level. I could even go here within this task and fold and unfold that too. This is really helpful for getting things out of the way. If there's a lot of content, maybe you've got some completed tasks that you don't need to show, just fold it and it will collapse it. So templates save you a lot of time and they're really easy to navigate and work through quickly once you get the hang of the keyboard shortcuts. Any kind of repeating step or documentation you have within your design process, I highly recommend taking the time to set up a template that you can just quickly reuse as a jumping off point to get started. Okay, let's talk about collaboration for a second because Taskade is obviously a very collaborative, team-friendly tool. I've been using the mobile app quite a bit to sort of keep on top of my tasks when I'm not at my computer. And I have to say that the real-time collaboration is pretty good. You can see that as I mark things as done here on my computer, it immediately marks them as done on my mobile device as well. It's crazy fast and super in sync. What I also like about the mobile app is the notifications are very, very customizable. So even here at the project level, where in the project Firefly that we created, I can click on this bell icon here and customize the notifications I want for this project. And you can see that these customizations are really, really flexible. I think this might be the most flexible notification settings that I have ever seen in an app. I can customize the notifications I want on browser, mobile, email, and I can even choose if I just want mentions only or want to watch all updates or or I could choose to completely ignore notifications on that particular device. Lastly, Taskade has a really, really nice Chrome extension, and there's a few different cool functionalities within this extension. First of all, you can set it up so that your Taskade workspace is the default view when you open up a new tab. And now I have mine set to my Femke.design workspace level, but you can customize this also by right-clicking on the little Chrome extension, going to options, and then you'll see you can select from a few different options as to what you want the default landing experience to be when you open up a new tab. The Chrome extension also allows you to easily add things that you're browsing, maybe it's a website, a Google Doc, whatever you're looking at online to a list or a project within Taskade. So here I have this Medium article and maybe I wanna save or bookmark this or put it into a project. I can just click on the Chrome extension for Taskade and then I can easily add it to a project. I can choose a different workspace if I want to and also an individual project, in this case, we have our project Firefly. Now I'm gonna click on add to project. And if we now go and view the project, we will see that it has added this to our project. So it's a really, really simple way to quickly add things back to your task aid list without having to copy and paste, open up the app. The Chrome extension does it easily and smoothly. All right, friend, and that is task aid. So as mentioned, I've been using this for a few months now and I'm really, really impressed at how strong the collaborative features are. Let me know in the comments below if you You've been using it and how you've been using it what's your favorite view have you been using it for design documentation for your design process let me know i'd love to hear from you catch you in another video have a great day bye